Sean, uh, was just referred to you from my colleague Erica. I work for um, Lytics. I'm calling from Recorded Line. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, my, my yeah, my line, my lines recorded also. <laughs> oh man. Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, thanks for the heads up. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um. I was talking to uh, the young lady. Well, the whole premise of me calling was I got the referral from my insurance company, uh, Progressive. So you know, I've been mm -hmm. in I, I've been in a road service business for over ten for over ten years, and um, and I got a you know I got a uh, a fleet of cars about ten total, but. I'm thinking about outfitting them with uh, about five of them. Uh, my son will be probably in the near future will probably be taking over uh, operations being that I will be in the trucking industry. Um, so with changing insurance companies and going with progressive, they kind of like, you know, kind of like helped me to that my my insurance premium will be uh, a lot. And I, I wouldn't say cheaper, but it will be inexpensive if I will go with the drive cam system. And I, you know, I was I was, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of misconceptions, a lot of misunderstandings, uh, you know, uh, with with the system, so basically, what I'm just doing is just you know for my for myself is just I I just want to get a lot of clarification on on the system. So um, for sure. With that said, um, I guess my first question I, I I guess my first question would be when I when I asked the young lady is that she was telling me about all of the newer uh the newer technology that you guys can offer now the the camera can detect uh a person uh can detect a person with a cell phone i will be able to set the camera to you know to you know give give my driver a heads up before the camera actually starts recording Will I be able to set the duration on that? It uh, typically it captures a twelve second clip automatically, and most features are all customizable. If there's certain behaviors that you're not as concerned about, you can always uh, turn them off or on. Even it is a dual where you can always turn the inside camera off completely as well. But typically, it does turn on automatically, and it uses the cloud to record everything all the time. But you don't really have to go through all the video. It just records when there's a risky behavior going on for a 12-second clip. Oh, and again, okay. like I said, you don't have to go through any of that. It's all customizable and adjustable the way you want to use it. And for the drivers, it doesn't have to be a negative thing either. You know, you can make it positive, like you can reward them for driving better and with gift cards, free lunches, you know, whatever you want to do. But you can make it kind of a fun program where, you know, you're protecting your vehicles, your brand and the drive offensive to just simply pay attention to the road, you know? Okay. All right. Uh, let me uh, let me apologize beforehand. Uh, I am. uh I am, you know, I'm on the, I'm on the road myself, and I am in like some shoddy, uh, shoddy area. So if we get disconnected, please call me back. All right. Uh, what about um, what what about okay? So the the drive cam itself, it it picks up. Uh, there's there's a myth. Okay, so let me just put it like this. So there's a myth that the drive cam is recording all the time and it only it only comes on in the event of an emerge uh, of of an event right but do 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 the do the do the camera records all the time 
and it only cut it only comes on uh, or cuts out the areas of the event it cuts out the areas of the event but you do have the ability to see video all the time i mean that's up to you it's going to be available to you it doesn't mean you have to go through it all but we do pride ourselves that we're one of the only cameras that actually live stream it's only a few seconds delay if you wanted to see into a camera at any time you could i mean that's up to you uh but you don't have to invade in their privacy i mean it's just that options are available to you um i understand the privacy concern but i mean if you're not going to be looking in on them to see if they're picking their nose. It's only going to be if they're doing like egregious behaviors or, uh, you know, putting your vehicles or even people's lives and, you know, into, tr into, um, into trouble. So I mean, it, it's all up to you. It, but if you really needed to pull a video from a few weeks back, you would have access to that time frame, the location, the vehicle. I mean, you, you would also have the tracking, so you would know exactly where everybody is at all times. You could see back, um, you know, in dates prior to see exactly where they went, how long they were there. Like, you can see all that. It's available to you. doesn't mean you have to take advantage of it. I, I mean, it's there for your protection and, you know, to help you run more efficiently and just make sure the vehicles are more maintained and you know you're up and running at all times maybe you'll get more jobs you can make more money uh okay. you know so it's all up to you guys how you want to use it okay now as far as now if i if if i decide to go with you guys of course it will you know it'll work better for my insurance but if i decide to go with you guys is there a certain uh uh, uh is there a certain system that I have to set up with you guys in order to get all this video. Say, like for example, like you know, my alarm system is with uh, is with uh, Guardian Protection, right? They monitor, you know, everything. If something goes wrong with my house or something like that, they'll call the fire department, the police department, and stuff like that. Do light? Do 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 the company? Do you guys do the same thing? Do you guys have like uh? a server that you guys watch and then y'all send the video over to me. If there's, you know, if there's a question of my driver doing wrong. I uh, kind of missed the end of that because like you said, I think we're going through a connection yeah. cell phone area because yeah. uh, you're driving. Yeah. 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 What, but what, what, I caught, um, you wouldn't need any extra add-ons. We take care of everything. We use AT&T as our provider for connectivity. Uh, if it ever have an issue, like where you're driving and the connectivity is going in and out, the only thing it would affect is the actual live feed. Once it, the uh, connection is clear, it will still have whatever happened during that time period uh, recorded. So you're not going to miss anything. Oh, okay. Uh, you just may temporarily not have it live. That's all. Okay. Not well. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah the, wouldn't need anything extra. All right. That's that's a good that that's a good answer. That's a good answer. But I I was asking. I was saying. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm driving, and I I appreciate you uh <laughs> working with me. Uh, what I was saying yeah. is, I got I got guardian protection for my for my house. And basically what they do, they, you know, if something happens, they'll call the police, they'll call the fire department and stuff like that. Do you guys have like a server a server of any information that's going to the server that somebody will watch? And then let's say somebody, you know, they'll see one of my drivers doing something wrong and then they'll just send the information over to me. Yeah, you could have it set to have um, whoever you want, if you want an admin or if you want it to be yourself, you can actually have it set to send you a text alert or, or an email, um, that's up to you. That's configurable with our operations team when you do decide to move forward. We help you with the onboarding. Like we we don't just send you the cameras and say good luck. Everything, like we'll walk you through it, to help you how to like use the app on your phone, how to sign in, show you how to use the program. We help you with everything. There's no worries. We're 24-7 customer service. 
And if you want it set to get text alerts or email alerts, we'll absolutely set that up for you. All right. Now, if I decide to go with you guys, is this a is is this a monthly fee that's coming that I will have to pay, or is this a one time fee that I will just have to pay? Like, do what I what I do, just lease the cameras, or or just set up, or you guys have optional uh, optional packages for me on that. So our most common one, since you said you have progressive insurance, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you move forward with us, I can offer you a special offer of a, of a three-year plan. So there's no cost. We come out and even include the install, um, you know, because progressive uh, recommended you guys. Mm -hmm. We'll include the install. It is a monthly service, no upfront cost at all. All you have to do is just pay for the sh standard shipping, whatever shipping is in the area. It's just the standard. We send them out to you, and then okay. our install crew meets up and uh, sets them up. Only takes about an hour to install. Uh, we do it when you guys are not, you know, running around like crazy. Whatever's a downtime for you, we'll do it. Uh, we're very flexible, and it's a monthly fee. We do ask for a three-year commitment at $37 per unit a month. Okay. So, if you started with the full ten, that's the three seventy a month. Um, if you, you know, obviously half that. If you just start with five, if you wanted to commit to five years, like most things, when you buy and make a, you know, more of a commitment to a company or retail, whatever it may be, we'll, we'll offer you even less a month. We'll do a thirty two fifty per unit a month, and that. I think is a better investment because in three years, you're just going to end up re-upping with us anyways, and you'll have to sign on to whatever our price is at that time. I don't imagine being much less than this. This is an incredible offer. Um, I would recommend the 3250 at five months, uh, five years, sorry, mm -hmm. but it's up to you. 37 for three years. If you want to just start with that, it's fine too. Whatever right. you decide. All right. Now, now let me ask you this. There's now let me ask you this. Um, uh, now, of course, I'm going to get some, uh, you know, get, you know, the drivers that I have right now, they're, you know, they're, they're pretty good. They're decent. They, you know, do what they're supposed to do. Uh, but what if I get a disgruntled driver that's tried to uh, mess with the system, like get one of those, the scramblers or something like that, that, that try to, that try to scramble my system is it, huh. what is 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 there you know because you know technology is never foolproof so but it's is there is there a way that is is there a way that my driver can actually mess with mess with the system or automate the system say like for example they could turn the car off or disconnect the battery and all like that let's say they let's say uh an event happens and it triggers the camera, but let's say my my driver gets out and unplugs the battery or or turn the car off. Would the system reboot? Would it still catch it? Would it still upload it? Yeah, so there's a lot of factors with uh, what you're saying. Uh, I'll start with the the first thing you're saying, which so. You would also can have a, a text or email alert that the camera is being tampered with. Mm -hmm. So they are tamper proof mm -hmm. and you'll know right away if somebody's messing with it, blocking the screen or uh, using some sort of device that's scrambling it. Like you never know, like you said. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll be notified if that's happening and you can you know, reach out to the driver like, hey, what's, what's going on? Like, what are you doing over there? If it's an issue with our camera, we'll come out and fix it for you within 30 days at the latest. And if we don't, you have every right to cancel your subscription. But we warranty the cameras throughout the term. Um, the other thing, um, yeah, lens obstruction, you get notified. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. What, was what, what if they, what, what if they like unplug the battery? And all like that. Let's say they leave, they unplug the battery and leave it unplugged for like 30 minutes or something like that. Because, you know, a lot of computers take time to reboot. And when it's rebooting, do it still save the, do it still save the infraction or, or no? Yeah, I mean, you, you can have it be hardwired to even prevent them from unplugging. 
But if you wanted to just do the plugin option, because if we install it how you want it to, if you wanted just the plugin option, you'd, uh, you would know that it was unplugged. Like it, you would know right away. Uh, what's the other thing I was trying to think of? Um, so we also, yeah, when the, when the vehicle's parked and like nobody's in it also, so that it, if the camera's not on, but it's still plugged in, we also have a hibernation mode too. So it helps with like mystery damage or theft or people tampering with the vehicles even when nobody's in it. So it will auto automatically turn on if the camera gets disturbed and record a 12 second clip as well, which is something uh, no other camera has. So uh, that's definitely a huge benefit um, when it goes into hibernating mode. But anytime it's being tampered with, you will know. And you can have it alert you right on the spot if that's what you so choose. Or, you know, when you get back to the office the next day, you're gonna know that something was happening during this time because you'll have all the reports right there for you. Oh, when you okay. log into your username. Okay. Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me still? Can you hear me still? Yeah, could you hear me? Oh, okay. I hear you. Okay, good, good, good. All right, so so overall, um, so overall, the, the, the you know, like I said, you know, I just want to definitely just go over all the myths and the mis you know misconceptions of uh, uh, of the driver camera. Um, um, it definitely helps me out, you know, and I understand, you know, a lot of you know a lot of the drivers, you know, and I'm I'm going to talk with them and let them know that. You know, I'm I'm thinking about outfitting my uh, my 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 fleet with uh, with the cameras and you know get their you know get their opinions and and everything. But basically, overall, it it helps me out as the owner of the company, right? Yeah, a thousand percent. You're protecting yourself uh, from any liabilities or. You know, if I own my own business, you know, I, I work here, so I don't. But uh, <laughs> if I had people driving my vehicles with my name on them or my brand, and I found out they were, like, constantly going to the liquor store or um, going to a, a bar on their lunch breaks and stuff like that, uh, just driving erratically and, like, I don't know, smoking and drinking while driving, like, all these types of things are all things that are, you know, meant to protect you. And there are things that shouldn't be happening on the road to begin with. So the drivers want to have a job. They shouldn't be doing these things. Like they're going to get caught eventually. Anyways, you just don't want them getting caught where it's going to cost you tens of thousands of dollars to eradicate. Whereas, you know, you could have got in front of it and stopped it to begin with. Okay. Okay, cool. So, so basically uh, the main thing is that the camera itself like I said when we started, is is always recording. It's just that in case of a in case of an event, it just it just cuts out that that particular information and then save it and then upload it. And then on the flip side of that, you said I do have I do have uh uh a option to live stream in real time to see what my driver is doing at that time, right? Yeah, if you need to, you can. And okay. And again, too, this is good. You can have all your drivers have an app where they can see what's going on for themselves so they can self-correct, make it easier on you. Uh, you know, they can see what their tendencies are. Uh, and also, it, you know, hopefully not, but in the case of, say, an accident or a traffic stop, they could have proof for the officer right on the spot before anything even comes from me. They can just show them their app and look, this is what I was just doing. Like you're either falsely pulling me over or this accident was clearly caused by the other person in the other vehicle. So you could, you know, have that taken care of right on the spot instead of having to deal with the police, you know? Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Hey, thank you. Uh, Thank you for that, man. Uh, again, like I said, I'm 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 gonna take you know take this to you know to my guys and and uh, talk it over with them. Again, like I said, my son will be taking over you know taking over my uh, 
my uh, operations from the from the road service. You you know I I I do got a couple of you know I do got a couple of friends you know that owns uh you know some trucking fleets as well. Uh, you mind if I you you mind if I take this you know conversation that we had over to them as well? You know just you know to to get them caught up on uh, if they want to go that you know go the route of the driver camera for their fleet too. Yeah, absolutely. You have you have my phone number, right? Of course, yes. I would take any kind of referral or whoever else is interested, and you know that's what I'm here for. So, all right, um, I, I, I appreciate you it. reach out to me specifically. Uh, no problem, no problem. Uh, wait, let me make sure I got your phone number. Uh, five zero eight uh two zero six uh eight seven five nine. Yep, that's me again. My name's Chris. All right, cool, Chris. I will definitely do that. And again, thank you for for you know taking the time with me because, like I said, it's 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 just a lot of uh, just a lot of misconceptions and a lot of misunderstandings uh, with these cameras and what what people say about them and what you know people have to say about them. So I thought I'd just decide to give you guys a call and and get it from the horse's mouth because, you know, like I said, progressive, you know, they was the one that kind of referred me over to you guys. So thought I'd give you, you know, guys a call. So I appreciate it. Okay. What did you think about the, the cost? Does that seem realistic? You, you that's know, the really, that's our floor price. I, you know what? The cost is real good. I mean, considering the fact that it ain't no, it's not that much of an upfront fee out of my pocket. It's like how, it's like how I got it with, you know, with the security comp uh, or the security guardian with my house. I, I I didn't have to pay for the system itself. All I just had to pay is for the shipping because they had to ship the stuff and, and they people came out to install it. And all I just had to do is just pay for a monitoring fee every month. So this is this sounds like what I had to do with you guys as far as as far as the system goes. But let me ask you this though. Yep. Uh you you said if I give you a three month commitment, what what will be the what will be what what will happen if I if I break that commitment, let's say about a year and a half in and not break that commitment, then would I be would I be subjected to pay like a full fare or or uh a out a out pipe yeah. out price or something like that? There's no like other price. It's just the contract's the contract. So you would still owe a year and a half on that contract. But oh, okay. if the system was faulty or something happened uh, that was covered by the warranty, then you would be allowed to cancel without any of that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't see you just stopping just for the sake of stopping after a year and a half. I mean, 99% right, right. of our customers end up continuing to work with us. So unless there's like some crazy outside chance where maybe you go out of business. I don't think that's going to happen because you've been in business for almost 12 years, you said. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, otherwise, you know, even still, we try to work with people in, you know, what do they call them? Ungodly circumstances. So, <laughs> uh, right, right. You know, yeah, you're going to be fine. Uh, okay.